Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Krakow, second largest and one of the oldest cities in Poland. Situated on the Vistula River, it's a city that dates back to the 7th century. So we're here to check out more and more places for you to visit. So let's take a look at 10 beautiful places to visit in Krakow. And this will be part one. Number one, Babel Castle and Cathedral. Now you can't visit Krakow without exploring the medley of Gothic, Renaissance, Rococo and Romanesque architecture that is the great Babel Castle. The mix of buildings is on a high point in the city, giving it that imposing presence. It was the home of the Polish kings and queens until the 1600s. Now, Wawel Cathedral is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Krakow. The cathedral, located on Wawel Hill, dates back to the 11th century and is built in the Romanesque style. So over the centuries, the cathedral has undergone many renovations and today it's a fascinating mix of different architectural styles. So you can see the towering spires and Inside, the cathedral is equally impressive, so don't forget to check it out. Now I find Babel Castle a great experience, especially if you go early in the morning. Number two, Kazi Mesh. It's time to check out the Jewish part of Krakow. The area that's my favorite in this city, cradle of Krakow's Jewish culture. is also the site of the Krakow ghetto during World War II. Kazi Mesh is now a vibrant creative hub with a sense of community. And what I find interesting is the narrow streets that are all lined with cafes, bars and shops and also a very lively art scene. You can even see paintings and drawings on the walls. So despite its dark past, Kazimir is now a place of hope and regeneration where people of all backgrounds come together to celebrate life. So don't forget to take a long, long walk around this wonderful area. Number 3. Oitsev National Park Located just 40 minutes north of Krakow, the National Park is ideal for those who want to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Which can, to be honest, become a little excessive during the peak tourist season, which is the summer. With hiking trails through stunning woodlands and quaint villages filled with local cafes serving all kinds of traditional Polish dishes. But what I find interesting are the limestone caves, fantastic rock formations, literally the park has everything you need for either a morning or afternoon out. Number 4. 
St. Mary's Basilica. Rising above the square are the Gothic towers of St. Mary's Basilica. Now one of the highlights here is to hear the trumpet that is played each hour from the highest tower. That sounded really good actually, each hour from the highest tower. And of course the Old Town Tall Tower. Now the town hall at one time filled nearly a quarter of the square, but was demolished in the 19th century. And you can even see the center of the square is dominated by the Sukaniche, which is the cloth hall rebuilt in 1555. So in short, the main square in Old Krakow is perhaps one of the best of its kind in Europe. It has something for everyone, all ages and interests, so try to spend a little time walking around. Number 5. Barbican and Florianska Street The Barbican is the only remaining gatehouse of the medieval fortifications that once encircled the whole city. You can see its red brick and formidable turrets helped to fend off the Mongol hordes during the 13th century and its circular design was on the cutting edge of engineering at that time. Today, you will find occasional theatre productions and other art shows which are hosted inside. And as you can see right next to it is St. Florian's Gate, or Florian Gate, one of the best known Polish Gothic towers. It was formerly connected to the Barbican in front of it, and the story is, it was never captured by an enemy force. And along the walls you will see artwork and you can take a look at the intricate details of the tower. Number 6. Krakow's Market Square At roughly 40,000 meters square, the main market of the old town in Krakow is not only the largest medieval town square in Europe, but perhaps one of the most varied and charming. It's a spacious square surrounded by historical townhouses, palaces and churches. So if you've seen Pisa in Italy, Krakow's Town Hall Tower is a must-see nonetheless. Quite literally, as one of the most focal points of the main market square, it's pretty hard to miss. Built towards the end of the 13th century, with the exception of Grodzka Street, which is a much older and connects the main square with the famous Babel Castle. Don't look at it as a tourist trap. Look at it as a area that's worthwhile spending hours and hours just to admire what this square has and just the feel of Krakow in general. Number 7 Podguja. Now this area is just south across the river from Kazimierz. A large district of Krakow, rich in natural beauty, tragic history and unusual attractions. You see, during World War II, the Nazis saw 
Podgusha area as a natural placement between the river as the ideal place for establishing a prison district. And as of March 1941, the Jewish population was marched into the centre of old Podgusha and walled off in what became known as the Krakow Ghetto. So this area is an interesting area where you'll also find a massive mound and also Oskar Schindler's factory, where they house two museums. So there's quite a few activities in this area. Number 8. Kosciuszki Mound Now if you like long walks and sweeping views just like I do, then this is the ideal attraction just for you. The Kosciuszki Mound is an artificial mound that's not so far away from the city centre. Roughly about 5 minutes by Uber or using bolts from the castle. So if you're interested about the life of the Polish national leader Tadeusz Kosciuszko, you will be satisfied because there is a museum right under the mound. So you have to pass from the museum in order to go to the top. And there you will see a wonderful view of Krakow. Number 9. Tinietz. Situated on a limestone promontory, the monastery looks more like a medieval fortress than a church. The Benedictine Abbey in Tinietz doubled as a fortress. So it used to be a day's journey from Krakow, but today you can reach it in less than an hour, especially on a bike. You can take a beautiful cycle path all the way along from Krakow to Tinietz. So I like this place because it's quite peaceful, we have a monumental structure and still not so far away from the city. A perfect activity in Krakow. Number 10. Nova Huta. Now you're probably wondering where are the salt mines, where's Auschwitz? Nova Huta is only 25 minutes away from the city and a prime example of socialist realist architecture and city planning. Now I went here at least two years ago where you can see the video in the description. Now I was seriously impressed just how different it looks to any other place that I've ever been. It's actually one of a kind. It is one of only two cities in the world that were specifically designed and built from scratch in the style of socialist realism. So I'll be honest, some people hate it, but other people will absolutely love it. So decide for yourself. There are tours to this area of Nova Huta, which is especially interesting for visitors from abroad who want to see what living in communist Poland was like. A visit will be like travelling back in time to the communist era in Poland.
Well, there you have it, folks. That was 10 beautiful places to visit in Krakow. Yes, there will be part two and you will see some of the more popular attractions that a lot of tourists from around the world come to this city just to see. For more videos of Krakow, just look at the playlist below and I will see you all on the next one. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.